So hello guys, welcome back to Taft Team Esports. So today we're going to discuss the in-depth guide for the Rune Knight Flea build. How to achieve the 6k flea. Um, but before we start, um, I would like to say thanks for your support um, as we have achieved the 1k subscriber milestone in our channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so you will be updated on, on the new contents. Okay, so let's start. So first, I'll show you my stat. So I'm focused on flea. So right now, I'm uh, sitting on 6,200 flea. Um, so in my stat, um, I focus only on Aji and Block. Uh, the reason because is um, these two stats um, provides flea. I think um, without the flea percentages, uh, the flea per Aji is two, while on Block it's uh, one. So you need to pump all your stats in AG and block. And the additional stats, either um, you can go for uh, bit or strength. It depends on you. But um, in the future, I'll be over uh, using that 44 in my bit to overstat um, another plus 44 on AG. So hopefully, I can get higher flea. So next, um, this is the equip build. So. I use um, ancient gold ornament for my uh, headgear. So, of course, it be, um, if you are going to flea build, um, you need all the default stats you can get. So, uh, Ago is uh, one of the best headgears in the game. Um, if you don't have this yet, you can uh, go with the uh, Felrock. Uh, you can go with the Felrock hat because it also provides um, the same default stats as Ago. Okay. Um, the cards here are Master Rings. All um, should have maximum default stats. So I have four of these um, Master Rings. Next is the Armor, the Felloc Armor. Um, again, the default stats. And uh, the cards are the Master Rings. Um, for the weapon, I use Alka Bringer. Um, it provides uh, the highest Aji or the only weapon with the Aji for the uh, knight uh, two-hand uh, weapon. So I've also used Mastering here um, instead of uh, Wolf card for additional damage because um, I'm still looking for the cap for the maximum of the free build. So again, uh, Mastering cards are all max default stats. For the uh, Mantu, um, you will you need to use White Wind Mantu. Um, uh, this provides uh, flea percentages. Um, if you and Aji, so both will uh, amp up your flea. So if you are wondering if um, you can use another uh, another Mantu with uh, flea, um, this one the Exiline Wing. So don't use this because the flea here is flat flat rate and not a percentage so plus 30 fee um, at level 1 I don't think it's um, higher than the percentage of the white uh, man key so don't uh, go for that uh, armor so for the necklace uh, use the harpy feather it gives you another 15% uh, or almost 16% flea and the lock which gives you another uh, flea uh, sorry for the Mantu, um, the cards will be Condor cards. Um, as of the moment, I have uh, no max Condor card, but this one only this one, and also I'm still it is still not on max level. But I'm trying to find uh, other Condor cards which has max speed. So this is one star you can get it in low uh, card boxes, but it's uh, higher to upgrade. Or harder to upgrade uh, for the uh, necklace uh, use yo yo card um, the card gives uh, agi and flea and uh, this is the best card for uh, the necklace rather than the mastering because um, for the mastering um, it gives you one um, a total of only 17 17 agi 
and 17 lock but for the yo-yo uh, it gives you 6 uh, uh, 18 agi um, sorry sorry for the maximum um, it gives you 26 agi and almost uh, 34 34 feet so it doubles the lock uh, component of the plus uh, 17 in mastering so this one is better the last one for the ring is the Saba ring um, this is the only ring that has lock so I uh, go with it and then for the cards use uh, chon chon cards um, for this one you need uh, the perfect uh, chon chon card um, which gives you the highest uh, flea in the game uh, as of um, for the cards so at level 120 max uh, it gives you 63 agi so if you haven't watched yet the video on how I did um, getting the perfect cards or perfect agi for the chon chon I'll add the description in the I, I'll add the link in the description below okay so that's for the equip so um, for the shadow equip um, you need to have this um, Biolungum um, Shadow This is the only shadow equip which gives default stat The card here I just use the cramp card because um, this is hard to um, get for the shadow cards but hopefully I can get um, cards which has um, maximum luck So let's go for the pros and cons So first um, the pros um, It is not BP dependent so as of the moment, I'm uh, 3 point, uh, 300, almost 350k uh, BP. While on our server, the the rankings are around 500 to 400. However, I can still compete. Um, if you are using a free build, you can still compete with high BP uh, players. So no need to rush your uh, trans for the gears because you will only rely for the misses in uh, PvP. Okay. Um, next pros is it is applicable to adventure in adventure only so I'll show you um, the free rate in adventure So as you can see, um, at 6,000 um, 6, flea, I think it's almost 95% uh, mischance on adventure. Okay. You can still get hit but you can see the misses hit there. So another uh, uh, pro for this um, build is that this build um, on higher tier PvP um, is really sustainable because um, in PvP players with high DPS can probably one shot you or two skill you can be killed in two skills so evading those skills will give you a higher chance of winning that is why even though you have a uh, lower BP you can still win in, at PvP so another pro for this one is th this is a late game build so hopefully once we've um, already uh, have or update on the shadow equip hopefully the other 5 slots will give you AG 3% or another another uh, free build um, relevant stats. And also we don't know if um, since in classic RO um, we, we do have the perfect dodge uh, that I'm not sure if they will going to implement implement this as well in Babylon. So the next one and the last one of the pros is that the cards here are easily or mu much cheaper than uh, boss cards. So mastering cards uh, is cheaper uh, than perfect um, OH or Savage or Wolf cards. Condor cards uh, you can easily get it even at lower level uh, Labyrinth. And also the yo-yo card so of course um, next is for the cons so not all build um, is perfect so here are the cons so you will get um, a brief preview on how hard it is to get this free build so first um, there is no definite or solid evidence of the cap in PvP I tried asking 
the developers regarding the free versus hit rate and this is what they've said that um, the, the computation um, is confidential so it will rely on us players on how to test and how to get the best out of the free build um, next is that um, this is not applicable in brawl endless tower time patrol and uh, i'm not sure but hopefully not uh, guild war so hopefully once the guild war is updated um, the free build is still applicable next one is um this heavily depends on item or uh, cards and stats so getting perfect uh, cards is very hard uh, hard and you need a lot of nyang in pull pulling this off um, next con is that um, we don't have any decent damage um, for fast farming as you can see um, even uh, for this free build I only can crit around 200,000 so it, th there's a very significant uh, damage uh, discrepancy, discrepancy in DPS build versus the free build Another con is that you need the DPS build first. Um, since um, this build uh, is mainly for PvP only, uh, the DPS build will help you in a lot of content in this game. So, I'll create another guide regarding the uh, DPS build um, for that for your transition if you are going to go for a free build as well in the late game. And the last but not the least, or the very um, heartbreaking truth about the free build is that even at uh, 1k hit free players or below um, they can still hit you um, I'll be posting uh, a content regarding a one week PvP uh, analysis for uh, the PV for this uh, build so um, players with high DPS can focus on DPS uh, and not worry about um, amping their hit because you can um, this is not a very invincible build as of the moment so for the tips um, in pulling this off so first tip your nyang should be a priority for only for card restore so as you can see um, in restoring the card um, it is easier because it only uh, will give you or will cost only 10 yang for the condor uh, for the yo-yo only 20 however for the chonchon it's uh, I think 30 or 40 so it's um, very cheap compared to perfecting boss cards um, the tip uh, another tip is that you can focus only on weapon because um, trans um, for the trans it only gives you the stat on the upper por portion so the trans here in other armors uh, will give you only the boost in attack and that um, and not change or upgrade your fleet so you don't need to rush in trans for the armors you can focus mainly on uh, weapon trans Another thing is when you are um, farming for card upgrades because you need a lot of card upgrades you need to switch um, lock to strength so this 500 lock um, put it in strength so you will uh, have a decent uh, damage for this one so the last tip for this one is that once you commit um, to flee you need to go all in or else you'll get fucked up um, there's no half bake in free build because at around 3,000 hit or, or 3,000 fee, um, I think it's around 40% chance of uh, fleeing. However, for um, once you get to 6,000, maybe 50 or 60% uh, flee rate is applicable in PvP. So if you go uh, hybrid, um, you need uh, at least a decent uh, trance on your uh, equip or have uh, higher HP in order for you to sustain. So 
again if you go free go all in there uh, and also there's no turning back because um, the cards here uh, especially the condor card is not usable on other uh, build okay uh, guys so that's it for this content um, hopefully you get a gist of uh, how to build the free build or a high free character in a labyrinth um, please like um, share and subscribe to our channel um, for more of these contents um, the next content will be um, about the pvp of this uh, build uh, so that's it guys thanks